boys and girls welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video i have disabled every single vanilla perk in call of duty zombies if you are new around here don't forget to click the subscribe button down below i do upload every monday wednesday and friday at 6 p.m gmt which is uk time so basically what i've done is like i've said i disabled all the vanilla perks but every single custom perk imaginable i've enabled them so i can only use custom perks I always hate this part of Moon. It's really, really annoying. Oh, no, I've got myself stuck. No, I haven't. Oh, I'm a genius. Honestly, just trying to rack up some points before it all goes completely wrong. Because I can't get quick revive since it's a vanilla perk. See you later, zombies. Goodbye. Ha, ha, ha. Gotcha. See you later, zombie dog. Goodbye, my friend. So, as you can tell, we have got no quick revive anywhere. But we have got this, which is called No Bear Brew. What does that do? It won't tell me because the power's not on. Why did I think this was a perk machine for a second? Yeah, it's because I'm colorblind, okay, I promise. Miracle Hands Mocker. Now that, my friend, sounds cool. When the power does get turned on, it will tell me what each one of these perks does. We've got this perk in the corner as well, Fighter's Fizz. Fighter's Fizz is really good. I used it on the Backroom Zombies map video that I did ages ago. Can I pick that up? I thought I could pick that up. Blood Bullets. I'm guessing that just does like a bleed out effect, but I'm sure we'll find out. Honestly, there's just perks everywhere in this already. We've got Points Crusher as well. Thank God there isn't a perk limit because I want to buy every single one of these. What I should probably mention as well is that each perk has an upgraded version. So when I buy it, I put double buy on, but the upgraded version comes with the initial purchase. So I don't actually have to buy it twice. So the perk machines switch out every round as well, which is cool. That means I can keep going to the same location if I really want and just buying a new perk every single round. Is this a free perk or a free perk slot? It's a free perk upgrade. Well, I don't need that, but thanks. We just got a free perk. I think it's the one that has a bleed effect. So the yellow or gold or very light green thing that you can see around it, the outline, that means it's upgraded. So if I shoot a zombie once with this, does it just bleed out and eventually die or does it not? I don't really know and I can't find out until I've actually turned the power on. Speaking of which, we're going to do it right now. Let's go. Occasional headshots and reloading and empty clip spawns a friendly swarm of insects that follow and damage zombies. Now that, my friends... When I stop dying, it sounds really, really cool. The real question is, should I buy it right now? And the answer is, I don't have enough. No, no, don't leave me. Oh, I bought it in time. That's great. That's awesome stuff. Now we have two perks already, and I almost have enough to hit the box. Bullet weapons create small explosions when shooting zombies. So it's basically incendiary rounds. Now that, my friends, is cool. I'm going to get that and hopefully get a shotgun and see how great it really is. What is happening? Oh, it's the swarm. Oh my god, that is so cool. Is it following me about or is it not? Like, can I interact with it at all? It's just literally camping the zombies right now. That is amazing. Wonder if I actually get points for those kills though. I wasn't really looking at my points because the one where I think it's called Blood Bite or Blood Wolf Bite, which is a Black Ops 4 perk, you never get points for when it kills the zombies, which is really annoying. I got another headshot. Let's see if it gives me the points. Wait, what's this? No, I haven't got enough anyway. Sliding creates an explosion. It can be used 20 times per round. Zombies have a chance to catch fire when shot. That, this one is basically incendiary rounds. We got new Coca-Cola here as well. That's 2000. Now that is a cool one. If you haven't watched the Fallout series, by the way, I suggest you watch it. It's really, really, really good. Set us off a nuke power up when downed. That's great, but I'm not planning to get downed. I'll be completely honest with you, bro. So I do get the points for the kills with that. Oh, that's amazing. I like that. Finally, somebody made a perk with common sense. We got a nuke as well, but I'm not getting that just yet. I want to get some points or let this thing get some points, should I say. It's still there. Wait, did it kill the moon guy? No, the moon guy's right here. Not anymore. Let me get this since it's the end of the round. What perk is coming next? We're about to find out. We have got Momentum Mojito. What perk spawned over here? Ooh, this looks good. What's this? Double bleed out time and hold primary weapon out when downed. I'm not planning on getting down, so that's a no-go for me. I'm gonna get this one. I can't remember what it's called. Momentum Mojito. I just need to remember that I will... Oh, man. Okay, I died. As I was about to say, I have to remember that I don't have Juggernaut or Quick Revive, but as you can tell, I... Well, I didn't have them. What perk have we got here? What's this thing called? I can't see it. Blood Bullets. I think that's the perk we got last time but i still don't know what it does all the zombies are just congregated here and i do not know why oh man i almost went down already i'm gonna guess and say that it's just a cryo effect on the bullets that i shoot but who knows i'm probably very wrong 
So I can't go through that door. That means I can go through this one. I was correct. Why is there a perk right there? I can't even get to it. Oh my god, what the hell? How am I red screen? No need to fear, the Elkar 9 is here. So it didn't glitch out after all. I can actually open this door. Before anything though, I do need to get to the power. We've got Fighters Fizz once again. Where else do the perks spawn? We've got one right here, Viga Rush. Out of all the maps that I could possibly play, I decided to play Verrupt because I just think it's a really cool map. And I've hardly played it apart from the original on World at War years and years and years ago. I also think as well, out of all the maps that have been brought back and remastered and things like that, this is one of the only ones that's actually kept its creepy vibe. I really need to get this power turned on. Which way do I go now? I can't remember. I think it's this way, right? Yeah, I think it's this way. So if I open this door, the power is in... No, it's not in there. Okay, that was awkward. Crusader's Ale, what a great perk. This one has been around for an absolute minute. This has been... Well, I mean, I'd call this one of the OG perks, really, to be fair, as far as custom perks are concerned. Can I go anywhere this way? Oh, no. Have I just got myself surrounded? I almost did. So where's the power room? Is this the power room? Awesome stuff. We found the power room and it is on. We can start buying perks. No, don't leave me, please. I'm sorry. Honestly, I think this perk's just following me about. Nearby zombies will slow to a walking pace. Yes, I was wrong. I told you I'd be wrong, guys. Banana Colada, that's an OG original one. I'm going to have to cop that if I find it across the map. It's going to move at the end of this round. Before anything, I do need a gun from the box. I have a whole one bullet left. Give me something from the box quick while I chuck my grenades. Oh, man. Oh, man. What did it give me? It gave me a shotgun. Okay, I really didn't want a shotgun, but I mean, I'm gonna have to take it. I don't have a choice in the matter right now. We've just got it upgraded. Awesome stuff. And we got the AK-7 for you. So in this mod, there's also a pack-a-punch power-up, which is great, as you can tell. I've now got this upgraded. You zombies don't stand a chance anymore. Kapow! Oh my god, you almost killed me. We've got a version of who's who, but it's really not. Chance to ignite zombies dealing damage over time. Zombies killed by fire can explode. Yeah, so if we set a zombie on fire, we need to stay away from that. Let's hit the Wonder Fizz and see what we get. Not that I'm going to know what perk it actually is, but yeah, what perk's that? We got Fighters Fizz. Turns out I do know what perk it is. Like, just look at this. Why would I buy it from here for 4,500 when I can literally get three perks from there for the same price? Do you know what I mean? It's just a no-brainer, really. Is that a power-up? Uh, yeah, it is, but I don't know what it does. Oh, we got a free perk slot. I've literally got the maximum perk slots enabled. That's pointless to me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, trusty shotgun. Let's go. We have now beaten our previous record from Moon. I do apologize about that. I did literally forget that I didn't have vanilla perks. Oh, quick revive. Let's hit this three times if we have time, or two times, should I say, because I don't have enough. What did we get? We got Deadshot. Why is Deadshot even in this But Okay. Oh, wait. It's not Deadshot. The bottle is just Deadshot. What's that? That is the Swarm one. Yes, I like this because I try and get headshots all the time. It's literally just killing them. Look at this. This is fantastic. Not only that, I'm getting the points for it as well, which is even better. What did it give me? I literally did not look. Let's see what icon it gives me. Oh, it's the snowy one. So what I've got to do is I think I've got a slide. Is it? I've got a slide or something. I can't remember, to be honest with you. If I see the perks, then I'll read the description again if it lets me. Guys, I think that I discovered what one of the perks does. Watch this. Yeah, look at that. That is... Wow, that is fantastic. That's really cool. Kill them, swarm. Swarm, attack. Swarm, attack. What's happening right now? Yes, attack them. Kill them all. Wait, where's the where's the swarm gone? Where Where is it? Is it killing them? It's not. I think it disappeared. What perk is this? We got double tap, but I can guarantee it's going to be triple tap. No, it's not. It's literally just using the stock perk bottles. It's me being stupid. I am so sorry. Is it like a... Is it Banana Colada or is it something else? Am I making this up right now? I have a feeling it's a Banana Colada, but it's upgraded. Oh yeah, this is upgraded. So if I slide and a zombie goes in it, I think it blows them up sometimes. We've just got what looks like a who's who perk, but I don't know what that is. I think that it's something to do with the mystery box. And every time that I use the mystery box, it has a chance to give me the weapon packer punched i was correct it does give you your packer punch well there's a chance to anyway i got the gorgon before and that gun is awful and now i've got the packer punch cuda she fell over she fell over <laughs> go on swarm attack kill them all kill them all that was amazing that is just so quick i love it it's awesome 
I wonder what this new perk does. Um, yeah, I literally just don't know. I don't know what this other perk does either, but I'm sure I'll find out as time goes on. What does the teddy bear perk do? That looks really cool. Let's see if I can get another pack of punch gun from the box. Please give me something great right now. And you gave me the ICR. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. It's pack a punch. I'll take it. An upgrade for my gun. I've already got an upgrade for my gun. But yeah, this is what the pack a punch drop looks like. So the perk I've just got is the one where I keep my primary weapon out if I go down. But I'm not planning on going down. I also don't have quick revive. We've got something that looks like a bull, but it's a fist with some horns on it. I don't know what this perk does at all. I'm going to guess it's something to do with melee damage. I was right, I think. Wow, that is, yeah, that's really powerful. So I'm guessing it doesn't happen every time, but still, that is a great perk nonetheless. I really want to move to another part of the map, but at the same time, this is the only place the Wonder Fizz is on this, so I don't really want to move. We just got a perk that looks like stopping power. Is it really powerful? It seems to be. Oh yeah, that's headshot related. All right, just look at the heads pop. Oh man, please get away from me. Guys, honestly, I don't know what any of these perks actually do. I'm just out here having a blast trying to survive because, I mean, if I get hit three times, I'm dead. At some point, though, I have got to move on to the next map, which is Origins, one of my personal favourites. Please fall over. <laughs> I also don't want to get all of the perks on this one map because then I basically spoiled the last map. But yeah, it's time to go down in some epic style. So I think what I'm going to do is... I actually don't know now that I think about it. Let's see how good we can train them in this tight space first with like basically no reassuring perks. Keep forgetting that I have banana colada as well. That is madness. Excuse me, zombies. <laughs> see you later, boys. Oh my God. No, leave me alone. You know what? I'm going to let you kill me and I'm going to move on to the next map. Oh, he's got me on red screen. Oh, I'm dead. It does let you hold out your primary weapon. I don't have quick revive, but it's actually worked. And now, boys and girls, it is time for the main attraction. But before we get right into this, and I almost died because of a Templar, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I upload every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6pm GMT, which is UK time. And it gave me double points, which is great. Time to get some kills and then get some perks. Did I just get the upgraded Pack-A-Punch drop already on round one? Is that really fair? I don't think that's fair, but I mean, listen, I'm going to take it. We've got a perk here called Dam and Nade. I don't know what that does, but I'm going to get it at some point, I can guarantee. Zombie money. Oh yeah, I'll take that, man. Why not? In all honesty, I can't believe that I got the Pack-A-Punch drop on round one before the round had even finished. It kind of feels unfair, but listen... The RNG for some of my challenges has not been on my side, so I'm going to take this. Magnet Margarita, that's a really, really good perk. It basically makes the power-up... Oh, man, hang on a minute. It basically makes the power-ups, like, well, magnet... Magnetate, is that even a word? Gravitate, yeah, that's a better word. Gravitate towards you, so it basically... Yeah, so they follow you, and you can stand in a spot, and they come towards you. Yeah, sorry, I explained that really, really bad. So it's time for me to get my first perk of the game. I wonder what it's going to give me. It has given me a nuke symbol. I think this is the nuke cola. So if I go down, a nuke effect happens and it kills all the zombies. Is this a free perk or a perk slot? It's a free perk. We got the cryo freeze thing in my bob, but I still don't know how that works. Is this electric cherry? It is not. What if I melee them? Does it electrocute them? Do my bullets electrocute them? Apparently not. Is this a free perk? No, it's not. It's a free perk upgrade. Dude, all my perks are literally already upgraded when I get them. Like, stop giving me those. I have 17 bullets remaining. What on earth do I do? Where is the box? It's at Gen 3. I think we need to go to Gen 3. We got a part for the shield, but that literally doesn't really matter. We got a part for the eye staff as well. Fantastic. I'm not building the staffs though. Are there any zombies anywhere? I kind of want to hit the box. I found him, guys, and he's dead. I'm hoping the gun that the box gives me is Pack-A-Punch, but I'm sure we'll see. It is not Pack-A-Punched. Oh yeah, I don't have that perk yet, that's why. On the bright side, at least I can wait for a drop instead of the perk as well to Pack-A-Punch it. That would be uh, that would be great. But also, I have a request to the guy that made it. Maybe implement so... Ooh, I got a zombie blood, that's cool. Maybe implement so when I get two of them, it puts a variant on my gun instead of basically doing nothing. Do I get rid of the Boom Hill though? No, I don't. I'm going to get rid of the BRM. Now, what perk is this? I don't know what this perk does. 
In all honesty, like I've said, I don't know what any of these perks do. I'm just having a blast using different perks and stuff because usually these are combinations that you wouldn't normally get. It's just fun to mix it up every once in a while and get rid of all the default perks just to see what happens, to be honest, and to see if it changes the playstyle at all. For me, personally, unless I get a really good perk that's really going to change the way my character moves or the whole behaviour of how my gun works, I'm probably not going to change that much. But then again, I have got this, and I'm just waiting for a max ammo. I just got two nukes. I got 800 for both. Whoa, what is happening right now? Is it just spawning loads of random power-ups? We just got... Oh, my God. Is that a version of Mule Kick? Oh, man. Why? It was going so well, and then that happened. Like, come on, bro. I do need to hit the box, though, because, yeah, I mean, well, look. What gun is that? That is the Kuda. Cool. I need to... Oh, no. No, no, no. Guys, I've been playing for a little bit and I felt really, really guilty that the video almost ended like that. So, I decided to buy every single perk, get to round 30, and, well, see what happens. I've not pack-a-punched anything yet because I was hoping to get it from the box or from a wall buy. But, yeah, that didn't happen. So, here we are. Oh, we froze him. That's cool. Here we are doing the absolute most for the end of the video just for you guys. So if you are new around here and you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and turn the post notifications on. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6pm GMT. Is the Panzer dead yet? No, he's not. But guess what? He's about to be. Is he dead? Is he dead? I didn't kill him. How's he not dead yet? He's dead now. Honestly, this is just, I mean, well, it's madness. I don't know how many perks I've actually got. All I know is it's more than what I should have. I mean, just look at this. There's perks everywhere. There's a perk there. There's a perk right there. The Wonder Fizz is on. Dude, this is absolute madness. Even the starting pistol that I've still got does really well on round 30. That is insane. But that's also thanks to all of the perks that you guys, the community, have made. So I just want to say on behalf of everyone in the zombies community that plays custom zombies or mods or just zombies in general, thank you for keeping this alive because zombies is one of my, well, it's not one of, it is my favorite game mode of all time. Just look at the damage I'm outputting with the starting pistol and it has zero upgrades. This is just insane. I can't even drink that perk because I've already got them all. That is absolutely mad. I just want to say thank you very, very much for watching and we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. I've said this so many times, but thank you so much for the support on all of my videos. But listen, even if my videos flopped all the time, I enjoy making them regardless. So, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to say that. I just really love making videos regardless of the actual performance. But that doesn't mean I don't put my blood, sweat and tears and absolute all into making these videos for you guys. And without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Zombies, please just leave me alone already.